and welcome to Hi on Coding Screencast. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, and in this particular screencast, I will show you that how you can perform the communication from a controller and to the view. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the controller to populate the view data dictionary, and we're going to access it from the view, okay? If you haven't seen the first screencast of uh, ASP.NET, the MV, C series, then you should go to www.highoncoding.com and check out that screencast in which I explain the folder structure. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just using the default project that it comes with. Uh, just uh, if I open this one of Firefox, you can actually see it doesn't really do much. It just have two links and a blank page with a blue screen. Let's go back over here. Now, if I want to communicate with the view okay so inside my controller i can do stuff like this view data and i can say message and i can say hello world so this message i i wrote it down in the view and it's an index option uh it's in the controller now i want to access this inside my view so by default the index dot aspx will be triggered because of the name index action so i can go over there and if i want to access anything i'm just going to say okay give me view data and i need to provide the key which is message okay let's build this uh, let's go over there and let's refresh this page And you will see that the hello world is actually displayed whatever i i placed it in my view data dictionary is actually displayed over here now if i want to display something else let's say a customer okay so i can simply go over here and i can say okay a uh, new customer where customer is basically an object and i can say okay how about this last name of them and Instead of message, you're going to use a different key. You're going to use a key called customer. Okay. Now in the view, if I want to access the first name and last name, I'm just going to say over here customer. And then I, I won't see any properties because it doesn't really know. It just knows that this is an object that is coming out. So I need to cast it. Okay. So I'm just going to cast this thing up and I am going to say, okay, dot first name. See, now the intelligence actually pops up because I'm casting it. In the same way, I can access the last name or any of the properties that are exposed on the customer object. Now I can go back to my Firefox or the browser. I'm just going to refresh it. And you'll see the first name and last name are actually displayed on the screen. Now, this is uh, this gets the work done, but it's pretty ugly because now you have to actually cast it to the object that is inside the view data dictionary and then use it. Okay, we're not going to use this approach because this is pretty ugly. What you can do is if you have a view page, you can inherit or you can provide the strongly type collection over here or strongly type object over here, which in our case will be customer object. So now this particular, this whole page, this whole view knows about the customer object. If I go my, into my home controller, you can actually see that I'm putting a customer into a customer view data, okay? Now, if I want to access customer, having done this thing, I will simply go over here and I will say, okay, give me model dot, and as you can see, that if I say model dot is just going to populate it with everything that the customer object already has, which is first name, last name orders. So in this case, I don't even have to do the casting. I can simply access it using model dot whatever. Okay. Now, of course, you might be wondering what about if I want to access the uh, customer object and I also want to access uh, some other objects, let's say uh, orders or some other categories or something like that. But in that case, you will be looking at the view model, which I will discuss later in the, in this series. Okay. Oops. Let's close that one up. 
So that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to discuss in this particular video. I hope you like this video and stay tuned on High On Coding. If you do want to sponsor any video, then you can send me an email at azamsharp at gmail.com. And for more videos, always check out highoncoding.com. Thank you very much.